Let's talk about pigs, specifically how pigs forecast the weather. So when I find out the conditions outside in the morning, I don't look it up on my phone or use some sort of app that automatically emails me. I don't even look out the window, which would be far too simple. I mean, let's face it, we had daylight savings time. I wake up in the dark, I go to bed in the dark. I, I would just rather not know what's going on outside the house, even though I have to go out in it later. I'd just be unpleasantly surprised. But there's one factor that always tells me exactly what the weather is, whether I want to know it or not, and that is my pigs. Because every morning at 6 a.m. and then at night at 6 p.m., there's a deer feeder I have hanging up in the tree outside, and it flings out pellets. And uh, because of that, the pigs wake up, they sleep in my daughter's bed, they wake up bright and early, and they go out, and they traipse down the floor as loud as they can, because pig hooves on wood floors are not exactly quiet and they go outside the and then they come back inside and usually by then I'm up and that's my first indication of what's going on because I can look at that pig and I instantly know what's going on outside is the pig wet if your pig's wet it's raining is that pig have feet covered in snow it snowed or there's snow on the ground is the pig traipsing in mud in most of the yard then, hey, it's, uh, the ground is soaked. It's a real clear-cut indication of what's going on. Whatever is outside, the pigs drag it in with their tiny pig hooves. Uh, and actually, uh, it, my, my daughters are fascinated by this phenomenon. They're like, if you want to know what the weather is, just check your pig. Which is, it, it sounds weird and dirty, but that is the truth. And honestly, I, that is how I find out the weather first thing in the morning most of the time. Would it kill me to just look it up like a regular adult? No, but the pig is right there already, and before the pig snouts my leg, and I feel yes, snout is a verb now, and you know messes up my outfit with mud on its nose or whatever else, I look down there and I figure out what's going on. And you look at it, why is my pig soaking wet? Oh, thunderstorms or snow or whatever. It's really useful. It kind of reminds me of the weather rock in Boy Scouts. It was a, uh, I, I guess I never quite got the joke until years later. I was a little bit slow, but there was a, uh, every time we go on a camp out, they'd hang this rock from a tree just with a rope and they had a sign they put up and said if you the what the rock will tell you the weather if it's wet it's raining if it's hot it's hot outside or it's sunny if it's cold it's cold outside if it's spinning in a circle there's a tornado you know real advanced boy scout humor type stuff and we thought it was so funny we hung it up at every camp out we had uh really i think it was just part of our elaborate trap system you know i think about like the ewoks when they took out the imperial walkers in the forest like they had giant redwood type logs like in the air ready to go at a moment's notice to perfectly smash those those walkers you think about what kind of planning that would have taken for these tiny bears to raise huge massive logs i mean it's improbable that would have taken weeks or months of preparation not to mention i don't think ropes could have even supported those things in the first place uh but they were ready to go but maybe they had those trees hanging up already for some other purpose. Maybe they were the weather trees. Like, oh, touch the tree. If it's wet, it's raining. If it's hot, it's sunny. I don't know. Maybe that's what we were doing with Boy Scouts. Maybe that rock wasn't really there for the weather. Maybe that was the cover story. And really what it was was just like a heavy rock and a rope, rope. We could swing it at an attacker or a bear or whoever else. Well, not a bear because bears are our friends now. But, you know, swing it whoever to stop them. So in that sense, pigs aren't a trap. They're just there to tell the weather and to eat and possibly destroy my house. Uh, as you notice throughout this video, the pigs are already in bed. I didn't want to wake them up and disturb them because they have to wake up bright and early tomorrow morning so they can go eat and then tell me the weather. So I'm just using old clips of pig videos uh, just, just so you know what's there. But uh, people do complain when I spend you know two minutes talking about the pigs and I never actually show them. So these clips do show you what pigs look like. Uh, in these videos, the pigs are dry because I'm not going to go and uh, film a wet pig because they're, they're kind of gross. I don't want to get wet. That's why I stay inside. That's why I am an adult human with a roof over my head and walls and warmth and all of that good stuff. So anyway, if you want to know what the weather is outside, delete that weather app off your phone. Get yourself a pig and a doggy door and a feeder in your tree. Okay, maybe the weather app is a little bit, a little bit simpler, but hey. Not nearly as fun. Anyway, hit that subscribe button. Catch you next time.